Hi, this is Lindsay, and I want to sincerely thank everybody who reached out to me after my last video about depression and regret at 24 weeks post-op. I am now 25 weeks post-op, and I was not going to do a video until my six months post-op, which is coming up on next week, but I just wanted to come on and sincerely thank you guys. Um, for all the encouraging messages that I received here on YouTube, on Instagram, the phone calls I've received from personal friends, um, Facebook Messenger, I really appreciate it. Um, I definitely appreciate the prayers. I felt the prayers. Um, I perked up shortly after. I think like the next day I started feeling a lot better. I woke up with the joy of the Lord on my heart and um, I'm really appreciative. I am still waiting on my therapist appointments and yeah just thank you thank you thank you I cannot say thank you enough for your love encouragement and support quickly to go over my stats I was sleep on October 2nd 2017 at Bon Secours St. Mary's Hospital in Richmond Virginia where my surgeon was Dr. Brandon Carmody um, my highest weight in the beginning of this journey I was 255 pounds on surgery day after my two week post op pre op diet, I was 242 pounds, and on today, I am 197 pounds. Last month, it was I ended the month at 201, but at the beginning of the month, I jumped back up to 204. So, um, I have come down to 197 from 204, and matter of fact. I got down to 197 this week because I had jumped back up to 202. So from 202 down to 197 in just a week. You want to know how I did that? Well, I added juicing back to my diet and I cut out a lot of the junk food. Um, I was eating ice cream chips, um, candy, all kinds of junk, cake, whatever. So I threw all that stuff away, as I said in my previous video, and the only thing I have had that I just named are chips, but I just get a little handful and I put the bag up. So I have that in my direction. And when I say chips, I mean like the tortilla corn chips that I eat with my hummus. But I just have a little bit. I get full pretty quickly with the hummus. But I went to Trader Joe's, I bought fruit, I got um, mangoes, pineapple, strawberries, and then I bought a lot of juicing fruits and vegetables. So I have been juicing. I make enough juice for about two, three days. I bag individually, put in the freezer, then take it out, thaw it out, and instead of like having snacks, I'll drink the juice. I gotta stop with the snacks, drink the juice so I can be a snack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I've been having juice, um, drinking it throughout the day. I've made beet juice, which is my favorite, and that's with um, one beet, two carrots, two celery sticks, um, a lemon, and an apple, and a cucumber. That's how you make that beet juice. I love it. It's actually pretty good. Like when you say beet juice, people be like, Ew, but no, it's, it's actually pretty good. And then for like a sweeter juice in the mornings, I'll make like, um, I made a mango pineapple orange juice. It tastes better than, you know, the simply orange mango orange juice. It tastes better than that. It was really good. Like my mom even drank it. It was really good. And then um, more recently I made a spinach apple and pear juice and that's what I'm drinking on now and I actually have to make some more because my kids have been tearing it up so hey I get the benefits of it and so do my kids like the benefits of juicing you can go look them up or you can go watch um, that sick and nearly dead with Joe Cross his journey with juicing but I'm not on the juice fast or anything I'm just adding juice into my regular diet but the benefits of it are definitely the nutrients and I can't always eat a lot of vegetables you know because of restriction with our sleep so it's giving me more nutrients and a way to get in more vegetables throughout the day and fruits so those are the benefits of juicing for me 
and um I also bought some banana chips from Trader Joe's. I love those. Those are my favorite. I can eat a lot of those. Um, <laughs> I have to, to my sleeve as we like, girl, stop. We full. Stop eating banana chips. They are delish. And Trader Joe's has the best ones. I bought them from other places and they're not as good. So I don't know what Trader Joe was over there doing to those banana chips. But yeah, if you haven't tried them and you like bananas, go try them out. And. I've been eating beef jerky, so yeah, got rid of all the bad snacks, replaced them with better snacks and juicing, and that is how this week I've gone from 201 down to 197. So yeah, and I believe, I honestly believe you guys, eating junk food helped me being a, be in a depressed mood because. When you're not giving your body what it needs, it can't give you what you need. So I'm sure along with my period, all of that stuff and the junk food and all, it threw off my hormone balance, which helped me go into a depressed state. So it is immediately when I start adding the juice, like I kind of perked up. I feel like my body was getting what it needed and it kind of perked up. I don't know. Maybe that's just a theory, but that's what happened along with you know everybody's love and encouragement support and you know prayers and my prayers and you know but yeah that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today um I've lost 58 pounds in total and I'll put how much since surgery in the description box. I didn't do any math beforehand. I'm not a math whiz, as I've said before. I will be teaching elementary students. One plus one equals two. I can do that. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, you guys, I appreciate it again. And next video, I am going to take progress pictures like full body bra and panty um, progress photos. So you will see that in my six month post op video and I'm going on spring break vacation. So maybe I have some clips from that. We'll see. Trying to prepare for Korea. Um, going to a ball. Buy a beautiful, beautiful gown for this ball. I'll just give you a hint and say from my original culture and I'm excited about this dress and preferably this dress fits. I need to drink some more juice to make sure I fit into this dress. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm excited about it. But if for some reason the dress don't fit, I guess I gotta go somewhere else and buy a dress. We just gonna hope that the dress fit. I've ordered the dress based on my measurements, so it should. Lord, I bought my child, I bought my children suitcases. Um, and they just, rolling suitcases around the house. I guess that's fun. I don't know. Whatever keeps them occupied. <laughs> but that is it for this video. I will see you guys next time on my six month post out video. And you guys take care. So yeah, with this depression and my dependence on food for comfort, I have hated my sleeve. Like, hated it. Absolutely.